Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Simply K back with another video, video, video. Welcome back. Happy New Year. We are finally in 2023. Thank you, Jesus, for getting us here. Um, this video is basically the closeout for December. So I'll be doing the cash stuffing for my last paycheck and going over how I use that extra check um, this time around. We're going to count up our savings challenges from 2022 and I'm gonna let you know where those are going to be going. And I think that's pretty much it. Just the cash stuffing and our savings. And then also I'm gonna be making some payments to debt and talking a little bit about um, Sally Mae. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are a new um, viewer, hey, welcome to the family. Um, subscribe if you end up liking this video and wanna tag along in my financial journey. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. And we are gonna get right into the video. As always, we are going to start with today's prayer, today's scripture. It is, be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead. And that is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6. I think this is a great quote to start the year off with. Um, we have a, a clean slate. We should be excited for what is to come, what's in store for us. I think this is going to be a really great year. Every year, there is always good things and there's always bad things, but... This year, I want to be more um, devoted to focusing on the good. Bad things are going to happen, but it's a mindset thing. And definitely want to be more positive and focus on the positive things that do happen than letting the negative things control us. So let us all focus on the joy that is to come ahead. Um, so we're going to start with the coins. So I kind of did write out everything because there's a lot to do. There's not really a lot of stuffing to do. Um, but I need to get these coins out of here because they're making my wallet so uh, chunky. So we're going to do the coins. And then we will see how many coins we have. And we'll write that down. So right now we are starting off with 112.41 and I think I'm going to go out today I need to get some stuff from the store. So I'm going to turn the coins in so that I can use them for what I'm going to use them for, which I will let you know in the end. So let's see how much we have. I hope everyone had a great holiday season January might be my favorite month I just like how I feel in January like just new beginnings um, I've actually been practicing and doing a lot of the things that I want to do this year I've started doing them already in the previous year because as I mentioned before like you shouldn't just be waiting for the new year to do stuff like you have the day that you think of it to start so I started making some changes and Deciding what my goals are going to be in the future um, before the new year even started. So that is that. Me and my vision board. Me and my family do um, vision board parties every year and kind of like share what our goals are, share what we learned in the year, and just hold each other accountable. Um, it's always fun to do every year. Maybe next year we'll actually do it in person. We usually do it online since COVID. So, total coins are 116.43. So, I'm just going to write that down. 116.43. Okay. That out of the way. Then we're going to go into the stuffing. So, I did change my binders around because I have been planning for the new year. So the only thing that is getting physically stuffed today is grad school. So we're going to go to that. Grad school has, I believe, 400 in here. And we're adding 125. So we should have 525 total. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 525. 
and then I think I am going to um, deposit this into my account today because I think I'm going to go to the bank and put in the savings challenge money as well. So grad school has 525. Added in 125. I got paid on the 30th. I'm like how to think. All right, so we have 525 in here. So I'm going to deposit that. Other than that, that is all that we are going to physically stuff because my last this was an extra check as you know so it wasn't necessarily going to be going towards um my cash envelopes and sinking funds it was more so for debt um for debt so before i talk about debt i want to just dive into the savings challenges from december so for the coins the total that we're ending off with is 116.43 i have been doing these coins i think since the beginning of last year so this is a year's worth 116 dollars which is pretty good i put a lot of coins in there um every month so now we're getting into the dollar savings challenge i'm gonna see how much we have for dollars so this is where i was keeping my dollar savings we have the money right here this is 59 dollars. that's what was already in here and I do have some dollars in my wallet. I believe five. We'll just make sure. Do, 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 do. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five dollars that we're adding. So we should have a total of sixty-four dollars. So five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty. 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 so we have 64 dollars going for our dollar savings so 64 dollars now we're going to go into our yearly monthly saving challenge um binder these are the savings challenges um binder i mean not binders these are the savings bundle sets that i'm offering now on my etsy they are live i am doing um 10 percent off from it started january 1st and it'll end um wednesday i believe that's the fourth yeah january 4th um at midnight so while it's 10 percent off snag you um a set but i do offer different colors i as you all know i use this one so i started it in august but then i had to reach in and take the money from august so really it's september so we are going to see what we saved from september to december so september has 25 and just to explain, I use these just for like extra money that I have. If my paycheck is a little bit more than I budgeted, I'll use that excess money to go towards the savings challenge because it's extra money that I didn't um, intend on having. Um, so yeah, that is what I use my savings challenge for. You can do any savings challenge and put it in these things. There's a lot of monthly savings challenges. So this um, set just allows you to have a place to put it and then they all can be together in your savings zipper pouch. So October was $50, November was $100, and then December was $200. So we have total saved $100, $200, $250, $300, $350, $375 from September to December, which I think is pretty good for just extra money. So I'm going to put these back in here because I'll be using these for 2023. So what I'm doing with this money is I'm going to write 375 
this money as i mentioned before in my videos i wasn't too sure what i was going to do about it do with it but i'm going to use it to get my brakes done on my car that is something that i need to get done i've mentioned it um a few times that when i went to the dealership they were like put it on your radar and i did not want to go and not have the money to pay for it so going to my car maintenance envelope i have 135 in here already so we are going to do 135 i don't feel like counting and we're going to put 375 so we have a total of 510 dollars i think it's around um i think it's around 400 dollars to get the brakes done i'm not like 100 percent sure but that's what i believe so just to make sure, 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 470, 490, 500, 505, 510. So we have 510 going in here and I'm going to go ahead and make my appointment to get my brakes done. And I'll probably make my appointment um, probably next week because I have more days off next week. This week is kind of crazy for me. Um, I work day shift, so mm, I work more throughout the week so that is exciting this is like an example of how you can use your savings challenges like this is something that i needed to get done i did not want to have to use my credit card it wasn't dire that i get the breaks right when they told me to and they let me know that they just said like it's something i should think about soon so yeah that is exciting that i have enough to go towards it and I should have more than enough because if it's about $400, then I'll have $100 that I can put back into the envelope or keep. Because I want to get this to $1,000 at least just so I don't have to worry about anything throughout the year. But I'll talk about that when I talk about my goals for the year and the next coming videos. Just trying to figure out how I kind of want to do my New Year's videos and yeah. Definitely like re-explain my process and everything for anyone who is new and doesn't really know kind of what i've been doing so out of these these are all the savings challenges that i did so i'm just going to add it up and just see how much i saved as you guys know this was a rough year um with my daughter being born um i had to stay in the nicu with her for a month so we had a lot of hospital bills um we recently had like last month had a little a little situation that happened and we had to um have the ambulance come to our house and we had to ride in the ambulance so we got that bill in the mail so i actually used some of the money from my extra check in december to go towards that because i didn't want to bring that debt um and medical bills into 2023 so i wanted to use more of my money towards debt and sally may but life happens so i'm just gonna add up oh well, it might be nice to put the right number in. 16. Wait, hold up. 116 plus 43. 0.43 plus 64 plus 375. That is not bad. Because my dollar savings challenge, I think I started that around like July, August. Because I used the money for like pregnancy related stuff that I had previously, I believe. <laughs> Or something. I used it for something. So $555.43 is what I had left and added up after everything of 2022. So that is what I had in my savings challenges. And these are small savings challenges. So when I look at this number, it might be small compared to other savings challenges that like other people might be doing. But coins and dollars adding up and then just extra money that $555 you can use that for quite a few things so I think that's really good I'm going to put this money back in here so that I can take my coins and this is going to be used probably for Sally Mae so the coins 116.43 and the dollars 64 are going to be used towards Sally Mae. So I'm going to, I guess I'm just going to put them in my account. 180.43. I think. 
I don't know yet. I think I'm just going to put it in my account and it'll go towards a payment that I pay um, Sally Mae for later in January. So, speaking of Sally, we don't like her. You guys already know that we don't like her. So, from this check, like I said, majority of the check was used to pay off the remainder of debt, credit cards, um, medical bills, all that fun stuff so that I can go into 2023 with everything being at zero. So everything is at zero. I am very excited about that. So what was left over after paying all that to pay Sally Mae was 420. So I am going to go to Sally Mae, my app. My goal is to pay all of this off this year and I will have a whole video about that so I won't go too far into detail. This is what I want them all to say. Paid in full, okay? That's what they're all gonna say soon. I have two that say that. So, the one that I'm going to pay has a balance of, write it down for you, $10,400. $59.91. So, I actually think I'm going to, I was going to pay it right now, but I'm going to take the 420 it's already in my account, and I'm going to deposit this 180 I'm just going to say 180 because forget the $0.43. Cents. So, we're going to have $600, and that's going to go to Sally Mae. So I'm going to go to the bank today, deposit that, and then make this payment. Because I was just going to make this payment and then add this in in January. But I'm going to go to the bank anyway, so I might as well just deposit that in my account. And then make a payment today for $600. So this minus $600 and whatever interest they tax on me. Because these interest rates for my Sally Mae are terrible. I'm not even going to tell you what they are. But that should leave me around approximately $9,859.91. So that is what should be the balance for, this is Sally Mae number three. There's this one and I have one more. So this one we're trying to pay off ASAP. So that is basically what this video was consisting of just stuffing the grad grad school we're going to deposit that as well in my account because i have a payment coming up before the next check so i'm just going to get that into my account now um and then we have i added up all the savings challenges and then i talked to you about what i'm going to do for sally may from this check which is $600 by using the 420 I had and by using this coin challenge and dollar savings challenge I am able to do $600 so you know everything didn't go as I planned for 2022 but I am more prepared and ready for 2023 and I'm excited for all that it has to um, hold and what's to come so thank you guys for watching I hope that this video wasn't all over the place but I just wanted to close out um, 2022, close out the December videos, and just kind of give you like where my head is. Stay tuned for the videos upcoming this month. I will be talking about what saving challenges I'm doing. I will be talking about the plans for goals. I mean, obviously plans for goals, but plans for um, paying off Sally Mae. We have two loans that's pretty much around like $28,000. Um, also continuing to let you guys know about how I am paying for grad school out of pocket and where that is going. My goal is to complete that at the end of the year because I'm supposed to graduate um, at the end of the year in December 2023. So we have a lot of stuff. There's some home stuff that I am saving for that is a pretty penny over $10,000. So there's a lot of money that I need to pay in 2023. So this is gonna be a good year, good um, year of content. And then I will also just be including some videos, um, little fun videos on how to 
budget and still get things that you want. So if you are interested in any of that that I just explained, stay tuned. I also, you know, do a little bit of faith content on my channel and I'll be doing a lot more of that this year. So thank you guys for watching and supporting. I hope everyone had a great holiday season. Happy New Year to everyone and let's get into this new year and attack our goals and uh, do everything that we want to do. Um, main thing is work hard, don't give up, don't be too hard on yourself, show yourself grace and you know have someone to hold you accountable. You guys hold me accountable and I am very grateful for that and just continue to uplift and encourage one another. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!